Creating a club and getting them into football manager shouldn't be hard or seem daunting. This very simple to follow guide will not only teach you more about the basics of the FM pregame editor, but will also get you well on your way to creating an amazing team. First set of steps that I want you to do are super simple. Once you've opened the pregame editor, click load database and make your way down to the club section on the left hand side of the screen. Once you've clicked this screen, if it's the first time you're seeing it might seem super daunting, do not worry because there are a lot of options that we're going to get through super duper quick and it's going to make a lot of sense to you very soon. First, we're going to just enter out the details. What's your club name? What will their short name be? Their six letter name, three letter name, alternative three letter name, nickname, hashtag, whether they're extinct, we're going to leave that empty because you want the team in the game. And then the nation and base nation. So for example, if you want the team to say be from San Marino, but based in Italy, you would say nation San Marino based nation Italy. Continental Cup nation also would be Italy for that matter. Here we go. We've created a team called San Marino Calcio. And then for the six letter name, San Mar, and the three letter name, San. Alternative three letter name, SMA. We're going to leave the colors blank here foreground and background color that's all pretty simple this is just uh what the club colors will be on the home screen and we'll give you a basis for the kit year founded you can fiddle around with this you could do it all the way to say 2100 and have them introduced at a later date but what we're going to do is just leave it and we're going to say 2020 and then status this is all fairly simple in the game this is say you could work your way from amateur to semi-pro to professional we're gonna leave this at professional morale that will be something out of 20 like the uh, staff attributes and the player attributes we're gonna ramp that up to 20 why not and then reputation that's something out of 10,000 if you didn't already know and teams like Manchester City will have around about a 9,000 reputation anything below 5,000 is considered league one championship level but especially league one level in english football and there are teams with as low as like three thousand rep two and a half thousand in league two and so on and so forth so if you want to set this as a lower league italian side then maybe setting it at around three thousand five hundred is a good option so once you have chosen these options things like is an institute things like is all star club things like scouting package if you leave that blank it will automatically be picked so when you're selecting transfers if you remember rightly from the scouting section from where you buy players it will be uh, a package that you pay for with the current finances of the club so it, say if you were a third division italian side you might only choose from your region or your division surrounding divisions and so on and so forth if you're manchester city or bayern munich you then would be choosing world all but if you leave that blank the game's going to automatically decide for you the game is clever like that it will fill things in for you so once that is all set up we're going to go over to reserve teams and that is something that you can create yourself you could say create a b team you could create an under 23 team you can leave it blank and then you can request to have a reserve team added at a later date and they'll come in the next season we're just going to add in an under 21 team under an, and an under 18 team just for continuity so when the youth players come in they're going to go straight into the under the under 18 team or if they're good enough they might go straight into the under 21 team ownership this is something that doesn't matter too much these are all different scenarios they basically all mean the same thing we're gonna leave it as chairperson and all of this here depends on how the club is run if it was member owned elections you'd then have election dates and the promises from the election is promising promotion maybe more money new players new manager i tend to leave it at llc because that's like a classic type chairman plc means it's, it's all about the money that's kind of like a big company buying rather than one person then under stadium this is something that you can find another stadium in the city that you've chosen or you can go and create your own what we're going to do to make it simple is we're going to find a stadium in san marino without an owner and choose that as our stadium it's only a 600 seat in capacity but if we set the attendance at 10,000, the minimum and maximum of 10,000, this means that we're going to fill that stadium and there's going to be an expansion pretty quick. Uh, if we actually take a look at Montecchio, the expansion capacity is 5,000. So if San Marino climbed up the divisions in Italy, that would quickly surpass. And then when you select the stadium, all you want to do is just to, to double make sure you want to make sure your team is also the owner of the stadium as well as that being their stadium. So there's no back and forth, basically. So the stadium doesn't just somehow disappear from the team. 
you can add stadium changes, alternative stadium, supporter bands, stadium moves. These are things that we're going to ignore. That's something I want you to play around with. I'm not going to just sit here and go through every single little option. That's something that you might want to do. You might want to add a stadium move to a brand new stadium that you've created, but you know the team might just not be ready for a 60,000 seater stadium yet. Supporter bands could be something interesting. You could ban supporters from every team if you wanted, but again, we're going to leave them. The finances, this is a bit that is important. Depending on the reputation of your club, you cannot have, say, this maximum 1 billion. You can add a rich benefactor, say f foreground, which means they're constantly going to be pumping money in, but they want high performances all the time. You can leave it at none and work your way up from nothing. We're going to set this at foreground just to look at how much money you can physically give a team. And we're going to set that at 119 million in the balance, which is a lot of money still. I'm going to set the transfer budget at 20 million. Maximum wage allowed, we'll leave that blank. Remaining wage, play a wage budget. You can leave blank and the game will decide, or you could set it to say a really high amount for a low league in Italy, like 500,000. If you set in administration, that means an administrator is going to constantly try and sell the club, just like Derby. Transfer embargoes and all of these things here, you leave blank and the game will decide for you. It always will. Uh, but you could say 600 season tickets are sold, that means the stadium's always going to be sold out and they're going to want to expand pretty fast. Here is a lot of important things that you might not pay attention to and the best thing i recommend is going and checking how other clubs in the same division have these set up so if you had other income this is basically extra things that will pump money into your team so for example you might have an individual tv deal that pumps an extra one billion into your team every season which would be absolutely outrageous but that is just something you possibly could do and for the sake of the video we're going to do that so we've got one billion coming in and then Maybe a kit sponsor, 900 million, and so on and so forth. You can have, you know, short sponsors, training kits, you know, extra income that will be coming in for every single part of the club. And um, if you want to have obscene amounts of money kind of coming into your club, you want to make sure that you renew the income and it's a fixed value so that never changes. Because if you set it to 1 billion one year and you forgot to click fixed value, then the next season it's going to match that of pretty much your club's reputation and ability and position in leagues and a bunch of things, and it will never be a billion ever again. So what you want to do is just go to the start date, end date, just go to the next year and then leave that on renewing income. So in total, there's a kit sponsor and an individual TV deal bringing 1.9 billion into this club every single season, which is absolutely outrageous. If you wanted to do another scenario of being a completely debt ridden club, then you also can. And these are things that mostly you can ignore, especially if you're creating a new club, but they are things that you can check on other clubs and see how it works because you can edit everything in comparison to the in-games create a club. And then competitions. This is something that maybe not a lot of people that aren't new to the editor might find quite confusing that you can't just add a team to a league and expect it to work because it will say once you get into the game it will say there are too many teams in said league and it will completely blank out the whole country as a playable nation and their playable leagues so a workaround is find the lowest reputation team in say the lowest league in the country and then relegating and swapping them out with your team either swapping them down the divisions, which is something you can do. So if you were in the Premier League and the lowest reputation team was Norwich, you would then swap Norwich out for your team and then push Norwich down to the championship and then the lowest rep from the championship down to the League One, down to the League Two and so on and so forth. Or if you really don't care about continuity, then all you can do is literally just swap them out for a low league team that you don't care about and they'll never be in a league again in Football Manager in your save with this team which is what we're going to do so we're going to go over to the Serious C B and if we take a look there's 20 teams in the Serious C including teams like Pescara, Siena you know a lot of teams that have been a lot higher up and we're just going to do this find the lowest reputation say goodbye swap them out with our San Marino Calcio and our San Marino Calcio are now the lowest reputation in the Serious C B and it is as simple as that they are now playable in the game they have an incredibly high balance and transfer budget and wage budget to play with and that's pretty much most of it done what we can now do is just go back into our team check everything else uh, regional divisions this is something that is an advanced feature really if you're not bothered and you're going to be playing with the team the team most likely aren't going to be getting relegated and they're going to if they do get relegated they'll be relegated out of the game anyway so it's not a massive issue starting media expectations this is something that if they've got a low reputation set it as 20th and then when you happen to finish maybe third or first it completely blows them out of the water and funnily enough you get a little bit more of a reputation boost because of it under club vision if you click no club vision this will never ever ever happen in game so that choice when you are a new manager at a club you get to accept club vision but we're going to leave that blank we're we're not going to add anything to it you could say add sign players of san marini's nationality and make that importance of seven and that's an ongoing club vision which means you're constantly trying to 
boost the reputation of San Marino whilst also becoming a big Italian team. You could also say develop players using the club's youth system. If you make that a 9 out of 10, that's going to be incredibly important for the team. And if you don't do that, you're going to be scrutinised by the owners. Tactical attributes. If you leave it at 5 3 2 wing back, that means that if you're not managing the team, they're just going to constantly use the 5 3 2 wing back. If you want the team to succeed, even if you leave, then maybe it is smart choosing an attacking 4 4 2 3 1 wide formation. You know, just play around with this. What are your favourite formations? Just play around with it and support a profile. You could have, say, 20 affluence, which means they're willing to put more money into the club, 20 patience. So that's what we're going to do. We've now made these fans the absolute best fans possible because their expectations are not too high. Everything else is incredibly high, which means they can pump as much money into the club. They're going to be amazing fans, but they're not bothered where we finish. And then contract types, leave it blank. Don't mess around with it. You'll get confused. Even I still get confused looking at this. If you want, go and take a look at another team and look at how their contract types work. But for now, just leave it blank. The game, again, will decide for you based on your reputation, your professional status, whether full-time or part-time is worth it. And then kits. This is something, again, you could just completely leave blank and then you're only going to get a home and away kit. And then the goalkeeper kits are just going to be made for you and they're going to be, you know, green or grey, I think is what it normally is. If you only want a home and away kit, just leave it. Uh, red and blue are pretty common kits anyway. But for the sake of the video, we're just going to quickly go through making kits because that's what you're here for. You know, you've clicked on how to make a club. Adding kits is something that is part of making a club. So for what you're going to do is have a shirt, an icon. You want all of these for an outfield kit. So you have an icon, text, shorts, one more of socks. And if we leave that blank, the kit's just going to be a black kit. That's a pretty cool third kit to have them, I think, personally. And then when you're creating goalkeeper kits, if you see here where it says uh, text, you don't want that in there. You leave that blank because it's not going to work anyway. It's only going to bring up the text of, say, your home away or third kit. And then staff and players, this here is fairly self-explanatory. You can go through board, you can create a chairman, or you can just add a random person in the game as a chairman, or leave it blank and then the chairman will be created, especially for your save, and it will be random every single time you create a new save. And then under coaching staff, you can add so many types of coaches you could add all of the best coaches in the world so you could have maybe jose Mourinho as your assistant manager you could have say all of the best goalkeeper coaches or you could again leave it blank and add them into your team what we're going to do is we're just going to add some of the best coaches from the world into the team we have 17 coaches for the first team which is absolutely outrageous but it's just to show that you can add pretty simply going clicking on the add button clicking add condition and then finding the ones that say person type job and then you can scroll through all of the types of jobs that you might want to add in for the sake of it we're just going to leave that like that 17 a lot of them are going to have to go uh, other staff this would be your scouting team and medical team again very simple you just go to job and person type so person type would be non-player and then job would be say head physio or physio or head scout scout and so on and so forth and then players again if you want to leave it blank start from scratch do that or you could add say Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo and finally get them in a team together and then this bit here players on loan players away on loan you could have say create a wonder kid for this team whack them in the under 18s and have them away on loan in a lower division somewhere else or have them on loan from another team and have them on a long-term loan and try and pry them away that's just a couple of ideas that you can have and then relationships this is again other things that might be important to you or not important that this might forge over time so like rival clubs for example you can forge rivals over time or you could create a hard code arrival into the game from the get-go you could say be rivals with as roma even though san marino is really far away or you could have a say a favorite person as creating yourself in the game and create yourself as a favorite person straight away but these are things that you know they do change over time in the game you could have favorite people dislike people club legends club icons like i said it just happens over time and then records Again, something you might want to leave blank for a brand new team, or you might want to just say highest attendance, 6 million. You could have club records, play records. So a lot of these things are things that you can really mess around with and mold to your own liking. And so once you have every single little detail and kinks ironed out, to get this into the game, it is very simple. First, you click save editor data as, then you want to name that say, san marino and if you see down the right bottom right here it says san marino.fmf that's just a football manager file 
and it's going to save into your editor data. You can save it in another location, but leave it where it's saving it into your editor data. It will give you the option to publish to Steam, but that's not what we're going to do. And we're going to be right back to show you the team in game. Okay, so once you get into Football Manager 2022 or any Football Manager for that matter, it's going to be pretty much the same as this. You click Start New Game, Career, and then before you click anything else, you want to click on this right hand button that says, say, 22.4 update or anything point anything update. And then you want to scroll down and find what we just created, like San Marino, or say if you've named your club after yourself or anything, you could have just given it a bunch of random numbers and letters. You just want to find that editor data and then click confirm. Now this is going to load into the game and then all you do is click advanced setup. Don't click quick start, click advanced. And for the sake of this, we're just going to load a small database and we're going to load the Syria C and above just to get in as quick as possible. Okay, so once you are loaded into the game after the database has finished loading, we're going to go to the Serious CB. But yeah, once you have the team loaded into the game, you can pretty much do everything from there. You can suggest based on every single little thing. And once the team are completely loaded, everything's going to be absolutely fine for the team. Everything's loaded as normal. Everything's there for you. Um, we clicked add players to playable teams. So there's a bunch of players in the side already for you. Uh, some youth players that might potentially be good. Let's actually just check this guy out. 114 potential. Isn't that bad at all? A lot of good youth players, actually. And most of them, San Marinese. So the San Marino team already looks like it's on its way to be really, really good, actually. But yeah, it's a really simple thing to do to get into the game. It's all very easy. You can pretty much not flesh a team out, or you can spend hours fine-tuning your favourite team. But that is... It's all very, very simple. And everything is there. You know, you've, you've got the players, every single little thing about, for example, the finances, 119 million profit straight into the club, 56 million to spend, 900 million into the club, but there's an overall balance of 119 million. That seems pretty suspicious, I'm not gonna lie. So because we've put so much money into the club, they're basically saying that it's all gonna be pulled out of the club and then it's gonna go back up again. It's a possibility and then projected transfer budget. So yeah, everything we've set up is in game and it's all very simple to do. You could create 11 players of say 11 of your friends, as simple as that. Or again, like I said, leave it blank, click add players to playable teams and you've already got a full team to play with. And if you have found this tutorial use useful, I know that I tend to waffle a little bit and I tend to say random stuff a lot, but you know, I, I hope you have enjoyed because I was, you know, searching for tutorials so much when I was learning how to use the editor sort of more advanced, but I kind of I was very lucky that I discovered the editor at quite a young age and I just I spend a lot of time messing around and I'm going to try and keep this tutorial series going and make my way into sort of more advanced rules editing and things like that but if you are interested right now in advanced rules editing uh just ask and I'll link you a couple of channels that really helped me make a lot of big databases because making big databases for example like my United British League system that was really hard that took me about a week of just solid editing i thought it would only take two days and initially it did and then i realized there was like i had to edit books constantly for ages and that's what the editor can be but it can also be as simple as like we've done today creating a, a nice little team pop them in the italian Ser serie c and then you can have fun with it uh, if you have enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe do whatever you want and have a great day